it's going to bring you an update on Blaze, uh, but uh, we we had a little bit of a, an accident this morning. He evidently stuck his nose up under a panel or something sharp, um, and we've doctored it up. It's pretty much cut to the bone. We do all of our own vetting. Um, you know, it'd be hard to sew it up there. You probably could, and it's probably going to be a scar. I've washed it, um, and as you can see it. Get a close-up there of it. That's a pretty nasty cut. Um, horses, horses get hurt, and we need to be prepared as horse owners and horse caretakers to to be ready when emergency arises. I walked out this morning and walked down there to feed him, and, and there he was. He was cut. So um, we put some uh, some blue ointment on there, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some uh, wonder dust. It's mostly charcoal. Um, if you don't have wonder dust, you can use, I've used flour. It's a caking agent. Keeps it from bleeding. And we're going to give him, can't really put a halter on him, so we're going to give him a tetanus. We keep tetanus around um, in case a horse gets hurt. It's a tetanus antitoxin. After the fact, uh, they get hurt, we will take and give it to them. And there is a, a triangle here where you can give this shot. You don't want to give it up in here. This is windpipe. Um, this is pretty much muscle right here. You know, if I had a Sharpie, I could draw you a thing. And what I do is I'll, I'll poke or pinch and pull. And then this is an intermuscular. So I just take and put it right there in the muscle and just let him sit there a second. And then I give him a shot. And then we'll rub that in. Um, so we always give them that. We'll take and we'll give them uh, a penicillin if, if it's, you know, looks like it's going to get infected. We take and use uh, uh, Equipen, but uh, we'll keep a close eye on it. Keep it washed. About every three days we'll wash it, reapply some antibiotic. And what we're going to do is around his face, we're going to put, this is Repel-X lotion how much we got here like i said it's a good thing to keep some of these products uh on hand and i'm gonna put this around his face just to keep flies from getting on it um it'll be kind of tender so i'm just gonna be kind of easy and rub this repel x lotion on there you could take and just put regular fly spray on there around there but i want to keep the flies away from it Rub that around his face there. And then we're going to spray him with fly spray. Uh, just as an added protection. We mix our own. And uh, just going to spray him. He's never really been sprayed much before. We'll get the other side, switch sides with him there, son. Kind of happened early this morning. And we got a crew over here. Cutting wood. Just gonna spray him with some fly spray. And go. So we'll keep an eye on this eye on this injury. Uh, about every three days we'll wash it out, reapply some uh, topical antibiotics, uh, keep a close watch on him. On the face like that, there's a lot of hard bones, so it's real easy for them to come into contact with something jerk and get and get hurt anytime there's a Anytime that there's a, uh, you know, a hard bone area, it's easy to do. So, uh, hate that this happened. Um, you know, I wanted to bring you an update on better, better circumstances, but it's going to be a while before we can work him. Uh, just because of where it's at on the bridge of his nose, it's going to have to heal up, and we can work him with just a rope around his neck. That's a really good idea to, you know, to be able to handle your horse with something besides a halter, just a rope around their neck. Um, is always good. Uh, Maybe coming from you know a farm and ranching background, uh, we we catch a lot of our horses with a rope and then bridle them up, uh, and we'll keep what we call a catch rope on them, so that if we had to while we were out riding, uh, we could take and tie them up and let them graze, or pick them out, pick it them out, and uh, on picket rope, and that's what we we take and we start with is just a rope, and then we move to a halter when we're messing with them. 
but it's going to be a little while before he's able to have a halter on his nose and uh, when he gets better we'll bring you another update and and uh, we'll we'll give you some updates on Facebook about how his nose is doing and every time we we work on it uh, reapply some some of the medications and stuff we'll take and go from there so uh, sorry it's under these circumstances but this is another update on blaze thanks for watching